What's happening guys? Well today we're out in good old West Virginia with Mr. Ian up front and Mr. Rich in the back behind me running sweep. So these guys have uh, have Euclear uh, comms and we can't get them to connect to the Cena, especially group mode. Uh, so they're, they're, they can talk so that's why I'm in the middle. <laughs> Monkey in the middle can't hear nothing. Oh, but man, we've had a beautiful day of riding so far. Uh, it's been a lot of like, um, I don't know what you call them. They, like, they're, they're kind of forest roads, but they're not. In, in West Virginia, they're considered county roads. And uh, some of them have been better than others. You know, some of them have been just flat graded, you know, like driveways to people's houses, uh, yeah, that kind of style. And some of them have been like pretty gnarly. Um, not, you know, not super gnarly, but uh, gnarlier, just backwoods roads. And it's been freaking beautiful all day, just seeing views like that. And, uh, you know, some gorgeous farms and have just been loving it. So, uh, this opens up a whole new place to ride because from the house to get here it's only like three hours and that's that's not a very bad trip at all and uh, so we stayed <laughs> so on the way down I had some fun uh, I, I met these guys down here at, at one of Rich's whoa family's places I should probably have my yeah so I can see at one of Rich's family's places we stayed overnight and before we came out here and uh, on the way down, I got hit by what I consider a tornado, like blinding rain, couldn't see 10 feet in front of my face, was doing 40 miles an hour in a 70 zone and could have gone slower. I was still hydroplaning. It was insane. Can't find the right mix of face shield or no face shield because it's hot. Uh, but I don't want to get hit because Mr. Ian has a bad habit of throwing rocks, which we all do with big knobby tires. <laughs> But he's got me a couple times in the chest protector. So glad I'm wearing that. <laughs> um, so yeah, just just gnarly, gnarly storm, like really bad. But uh, but yeah, I made it through it just just you know, trucking slow, windshield wipers on high, hydroplaning a little bit here and there, but steady as she goes and, and made it through. Uh, and then showed up with these guys and uh, Mr. Rich's wife who came down with him and is, and is staying with the family while we were, were out riding. Uh, she had made us watermelon martinis. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but um, hey, chicks usually drink those. But uh, I gotta give chicks props because holy crap, that was a glass of vodka. <laughs> with a little bit of watermelon something in it. And uh, yeah, so enjoyed my first martini. I had never had one before. And I uh, figured I'd save the beer until we made it to camp. But uh, but yeah, I appreciate Rich's family's hospitality. They've been uh, incredibly awesome so far. And now the place where we're at camp here, uh, they've got like a whole thing set up outside with like a uh, pavilion kind of deal. And a, uh, I brought a tent and an air mattress. I need to pay attention to what I'm doing. And hit a gate. On a little bit of a hill there. <laughs> oh. Thank you, sir. But yeah, they've got a pavilion thing and I brought a, uh, so I brought an air mattress and a, uh, a tent. 
And I don't need either of those because they have this killer outdoor bed. I'll show you guys a picture of it right here. Ugh, bugs in my eyes. So yeah, I'm going to be staying in that killer outdoor bed. <laughs> and uh, Mr. Rich stays in his trailer and uh, Mr. Ian's got a nice hammock set up. Uh, I've decided to give up on hammock camping uh, for two reasons. Uh, number one was it's just too cold. Like even with the under quilt and all that stuff, the last camping trip that I did actually with these fellas off of the Africa Twin was terrible. But uh, today is not even the ride day, quote unquote. The ride day is tomorrow, where we have a 136 mile loop, I believe, uh, Canaan Loop Road that uh, Mr. Ian has plotted out. Mr. Ian's like the map guy. <laughs> He's got like seven different phones that have got maps on them. Whoa. I still don't like mud. Still don't. We uh, we ran up on. We ended up in some gnarly stuff earlier. We took a little unplanned trail and uh, wound up in some super gnar mud down in this little valley and uh, there was a little there was a road that we were trying to take out a little two track and uh, unfortunately there was a big old tree across it that there's no way we could either a cut or b get around Other than that, it's been a beautiful day. Get to sleep in a bed both days. <laughs> That's the key. <laughs> this trip has worked out real well. Oh, for the CDS belly. And uh, we've got some great food. I know everybody brought food. So yeah, it should be a should be a good night, good rest of the day. And uh, I don't know. I really don't have that much else to talk about. Oh, so just kind of enjoy the ride, I guess. Well, I know I guess I could talk about <laughs> the elephant in the room. So a couple of people got upset about the uh, one of the recent videos that I put out. If you haven't seen it, feel free to go watch it. Just uh, watch out because you might get upset. Now the funny thing was, only the Facebook people got upset. The YouTube people did not get upset at all. All right.
So Mr. Ian here in front of me is uh, a relatively new off-roader. I mean, he's, uh, he's done the overland thing and he's done some riding, definitely, for sure. Uh, not a whole lot of off-road, off but like, he's doing great. Like, pretty good, man, I'd say. <laughs> um, you know, he would be fine to ride anything in Colorado already. Um, and then, Mr. Rich behind me, he is an ex-racer, so he's been riding forever. And uh, he's got lots of experience. He's gotten into the dual sport thing. Oh, and we're all riding DRZs. <laughs> so this is, uh, this is the, the Three Amigos DRZ ride. Which is pretty cool. Glad to have a bunch of dizzers out. All right, I'm gonna let him go for a second because I gotta go. I'm just letting him go so I can go my own speed. What? I'm just letting him go so I can go my own speed. Oh, okay. Sometimes he goes a little too slow for me on hills. No biggie, no big deal. It happens, we all ride different speeds, you know? <sighs> I just know the way I like to do it. And I can adjust. So yeah, not much else to say about that other video. Um, the Facebook people apparently got upset and the YouTube people apparently didn't. So it's fine because it's a Facebook uh, page for a YouTube channel. So whatever. <laughs> it is what it is. I mean, you know, I'd, I'm not going to change anything I said. Uh, people wanted to have the arguments again. I, uh, I tried my best not to get involved. And, uh, you know, it's basically if other people want to have them, go for it, just be respectful, and that's the end of that. So, yeah, no need to talk about that anymore. That's it. I said my piece, I'm done. Back onto this beautiful bean footage. Look at him. He's riding in perfect form. Standing up, knees slightly bent. Oh! He was in the attack position. Meanwhile, CDS Feller's lazy ass is sitting down. <laughs> Just wrapping the throttle. But well, this is a beautiful little road right here. So this is this is basically exactly what I was talking about at the beginning of the video. It's like a lot of it's like this. Like it's either super nice or uh just like regularly graveled, <laughs> like an actual gravel road. It all depends. And we've been lucky to hit several of these today so far. Ooh. Hopefully he saw me, because that looked a little gnar. Sweet. That was awesome. That was good stuff right there. But all right guys, I will leave you with that one since we are back out into the world of pavement. Hope y'all are doing well. We're doing great. And uh, I'll pick you up if we hit another awesome road, all right? I'll catch y'all later. Peace.